Hello and welcome to this week's web chat with Vision 33. Today we've got a double session for you to finish up the inventory segment we've been doing in our core business one training. Gregory Dick is going to be presenting today sections three and four of the inventory section and that is going to be on the first part on pricing and pick and pack and the second part four of the inventory segment is going to be on uh, the MRP. Um, without any further ado, Gregory, it's all yours. Thank you. Well, so this is the uh, third session in the inventory series. Uh, we've already covered the overview of the inventory process and setting up of inventory in the first session. And then the second session was serialization of batches and warehouse management. So today we're going to cover pick and pack and then uh, go into setting up prices. And then the next session will be on MRP. So let's start with pick and pack. The sales process with picking allows you to come up with a list to go through your uh, in your warehouse and select the items that um, are needed. So uh, in order to start pick and pack, we go to inventory, pick and pack, and the pick and pack manager. The pick and pack manager has a number of areas on it. The first one is status and uh, status open, uh, the window will display all the items that are still open. That is, they have not been selected for picking. They have not been released, picked, or delivered. In this window, you select the orders and quantities to be released. Uh, and the quantity to release is equal to the stock, minus what's already released, minus what's picked. The status released, this window displays all the pick lists in status released. Uh, you can display the data in two views, detailed or summary, and the quantity available uh, to pick is equal to the in stock minus what's already been picked. To get the pick list, click in the list of released orders uh, into the orange arrow link and, uh, next to the pick number and choose inventory pick and pack pick list. Uh, sorry, or choose that. Um, and then you can enter the pick quantity. Uh, the pick status uh, displays um, the items that are already picked but are not delivered yet. And in the list of the picked items, choose the deliver button to create deliveries. You can create deliveries also from the open or release list. So here's a 